So here's a second possibility, and this is a, an algorithm that it is a little tricky, honestly. Um, it's, it's probably for a lot of people it will not be as fast as just doing the three-way rotation twice because the three-way rotation is such a simple algorithm it, it goes very quickly um, it's a kind of algorithm that you can do in, in less than two seconds no problem and this algorithm is a little bit more complex the, the problem here is that the corners are kitty corner to each other and then same on the other side so none of the four uh, edges are in the correct position and they are next to the um, piece which is um, kind of diagonally from them so the way this algorithm is going to go like this is some similarities to the algorithm where they flip, um, where you um, permute them by sending them across, um, but a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to do two middle turns, two middle turns, turn it once to my, towards the left. I'm going to do two middle turns again, turn it once to my left. I'm going to do one turn now. I'm going to flip it all the way around. Now I'm going to do another middle turn twice. I'm going to flip it around again, I'm going to do one middle turn, and now I'm going to flip it all the way around, and everything has gone into place. So I'll do that again one more time. So again, the pieces are diagonal to each other, and the pieces over here are diagonal to each other. Now it does actually matter the orientation that you do this in. Um, what matters is, you saw that I did the middle turn, and then I turned it towards the left. I turned the front face towards the left. Um, you can do it towards the right, it's no problem, but it changes the orientation. So the way I do it is, I turn the middle layer up and I turn it towards the left. So as a result, it's important that the two diagonal pieces are facing me and to my right. I kind of choose to do it that way because the um, algorithm in which I turn the, the edges up, I also put it on the right and facing me. So it's just, it's just more consistent for me to, to stick with a, um, a kind of a consistent method. I have the piece facing me and the piece to my right. That's the orientation that I want. Not like this. If I do it like this, I would turn the middle layers up and I would turn to the right instead of turning to the left. So I orient it by putting the two diagonal pieces facing me and one to the right. And it goes like this. The middle layer is going to go up twice. And then I turn it once towards the front face towards the left. I bring it up twice again, turn the front face to the left. Now I only go one middle turn, but this time I'm going to flip it all the way around on top. I'm going to go ahead and do the two turns in the middle. I'm going to flip it all the way again. I'm going to do one turn in the middle and one final twist and everything is in place. It's a little longer algorithm. It's, it's definitely a little bit um, trickier to, um, to handle. Um, I feel like this is an algorithm where the three-way rotation twice is only a little bit slower than doing this algorithm. So there's not a huge gain um, with this particular algorithm like there is when they're across from each other. That algorithm is much simpler. It definitely, that saves time, there's no question. This one is kind of marginal as to how much time it actually saves.